Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, it's Brad from Radhu Tarot, and in this whole, in this whole video, we're going to look into Aquarius uh, Sun Moon and as well Rising, uh, Rising, not Rising, but Rising, uh, and their experience into the week 28th of December 2020 up until the 3rd of January 2021. Now, should you be interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you're going to see a full list of my services as well, their pricing. And also keep in mind that the content for YouTube and Facebook is different from one another. So while here I'm posting a weekly tarot readings and also monthly tarot readings whenever I have the time to do so. Uh, in Facebook, you can see me live for the major um, astrological transits as well a daily tarot guidances are posted there and also uh, the astrology astrological posts performed by Pisces Moonbeam which is a astrologer that works with me which is a fantastic one I can't recommend you enough her services so uh, yeah I mean it's a good start here Aquarius uh, for the Aquarius for the upcoming week which is uh, again 28th of December up until the 3rd of January 2020. So uh, with the very first card as you do enter into the week your problems disappears. That is because the star card on its own accord it is the uh, end of an era of a turmoil and starting of an era or of yeah a life cycle if you will where pretty much whatever dreams you do have whatever goals whatever ideals and standards you do have they are pretty much reachable that is when you do start fresh but under starting fresh here, I do mean when, uh, how can I say, you're starting fresh or refreshed to chase your goal and dream. The star card could be marked as the new job that you so much hope to get. The star card could be marked of the unfolding love that you were hoped to experience. The star card could be as well the, uh, how can I say, the, the fullness of life that you have strafed for. It's just the application of the star card is infinite. But what the card says is that you, at that point, you are gonna feel free from all the problems and all the troubles and all the concerns that were stopping you up until that time. And you will be able to lift yourself above the situation and see it from an ego eye, seeing that from now, the best is yet to come. Moving next, we do have the two, the ten of cups, and when when you do so, when you do, when the star card unfolds, you are gonna feel happy. It's as simple as that. You are gonna feel blessed. You are gonna feel that your life is now worth living again. Uh, the ten of cups refers to the uh, sense of um, uh, of satisfaction when one realizes what kind of blessings one is surrounded with that may that be your family seeing that you can unfold the love within your family may that be your career seeing that now your career develops according to your standards your limits as well and in general to your expectations ten of uh, ten of cups it is uh, the card pointing that again um, how can i say contributes to the star card end of an era of a turmoil where uh, the ten of cups it is the oasis meaning the week and the endeavors within the week that you're going to spend the time with that simply they are making all of the concerns and, is concerns and issues that you are troubling yourself with totally irrelevant and at that stage you my friends us because i'm raising raising a rising aquarius as well um we are going to start leaning toward a, a side of the human nature that all that feels that they can always go for more it's pretty much at the start of this week aquarius we are going to uh how can i say realize if you will that our life isn't ending by a large margin with all the concerns we have just on the contrary the best my friends is yet to come here and we're gonna sense it and we're gonna see its um its fidelity at that particular stage we're going to see how it starts to grow from a from a seed and becomes a beautiful beautiful plant or rather it has a potential 
to grow a, a beautiful, beautiful plant. Uh, next one that we do have that is going to be the ten of, the nine of pentacles and we ain't gonna waste any time but just leap into the development of that thing either uh, the new job or the unfolding law the prom the promotion establishing of the business whatever the star card signifies for you where restarts not restarts but marks a new era of uh, growth in uh, in your life in our life here with the nine of pentacles we are to recognize it as the thing that is going to supplement or rather like sustain the wellness of uh, of our existence and the wellness of our life as well so if that's if that is an unfolding love you are to recognize it as the love you have waited for okay that's the job you're going to recognize it as the job that is going to make you lucrative successful uh, and uh, in generally the nine of pentacles points that the perception we do have from the start of the week that now life opens up okay and it simply moves forward it grows it's it's a true uh, a perception and that is such a huge like i said a leap into uh, into our de development we're gonna feel carefree we're gonna feel enjoyed uh happy and exhilarated ecstasy at some point is going to reside as well fullness of life and all these kind of stuff we are gonna feel capable to enjoy the life as life is or as life presents itself from uh, from the start of the week beautiful beautiful week is or is ahead of your Aquarius is a Aquarius is ahead of us because I'm rising Aquarius and I hope that I'm going to experience some of, of, of that blessing that, that is bestowed upon you into the week 28th of December 2020 up until the 3rd of a January 2021. Moving next, we do have the Page of Pentacles and that is a person that comes about which sees, you know, how good your life is developing and they want a piece in it. Uh, or they want to not peace but they want to take a part in it now page of pentacles they uh, truly can scope the worth into something and they kind of see that for example your business is worth it you know you are worth it as an individual as well uh, or in general your friendship is worth it they pretty much see that if they side with you they can go for a long way and uh, for that uh, you know they're not gonna spare any resource there whatsoever in order to help you develop your standards your dreams your goals as well so what I can see here towards the end of the week is a beautiful partnership forming up uh, more like a friendship than a romantic relationship <clears throat> because the unfolding love that it is to happen is towards the start of the week rather than towards the end of it should it be about that and that's why if that's a uh, for example a relationship that it is forming this could be a mutual friend that really really likes you okay and they really wants to see that love unfolding itself and is going to side completely with the relationship and it's pretty much is going to clear up a lot of uh, same misunderstandings it will it, it will serve as a bridge as a glue in between you two should there be any problem that could be your business partner as well or rather like a good client not business partner but a client that pretty much sees the worth in your company and they're willing to invest big time in it okay uh, so a fantastic person that comes about now one thing I want to say about the page of Pentacles they are uh, don't get yourself annoyed or aggravated if at the start of this interaction with the page you do not see them uh, very uh, engaging it's the right word here that is because the page is very calculative and very slow into movement and into action they pretty much wait for the perfect uh, conditions for the perfect moment as well for they don't have any time but they are rather meticulous and they want everything like I said to be perfect so um, maintain your patience with them especially if that's a client or a big corporation that wants to pretty much buy your business and uh, through buying your business you will have the funds from there for example you know to make your life as you want to have it and uh, the last card that we do have for you that is going to be the tower so towards the end of the week uh, some of the aspects there is not gonna go exactly as 
plant unfortunately you are going to see that you know this opening of life carries on with it some things that you have not foreseen and you have not predicted okay that doesn't make them bad this is just your feeling that you have not predicted them makes it bad ultimately the tower card ends with a uh, uh, how can I say growth into one's life, but one needs to go by with it instead of trying to deny it or instead of, of, of trying to bypass it. This is a transformation here that takes place a little bit faster than you would like it. Okay, transformation in your life, either into your relationship or either into your career that takes place, which is a little bit, like I said, faster than you would like it. It may cause you to give up on certain things and giving up is not the correct word here that I should use, but more like abandon a certain aspects like a habit of smoking, for example, if you find yourself pregnant at the start of the week, say, you know, or, or, or the habit of waking up whenever you want to go for a work because the new job demands you to be there at night. 9 a.m. because there are jobs these days that it doesn't matter how much you sleep or you attend to work all that matters is that the work is done at the uh, at the deadline so there will be things that you will have to align to towards the end of the week that you may not find very appealing at start but should you do align with them you're going to see that they are working for your greater good for your wellness if i may say it that way and uh, a, a huge restructuring here of your um, acceptance of life itself is going to take place through transformation there that this time around is not going to end up badly for you at least but it's going to end up in growth nourishment and uh, uh, how can I say it nurturing of, uh, of your entire world so that being said Aquarius that was uh, your uh, general tarot reading for December for December 28, 2020, up until January 3rd, 2021. Hopefully uh, you have enjoyed it and you do liked it and uh, we shall see each other next time. Until then, bye.